So before we start with the actual content, I have a question for you. What do you think, how many programming languages are there in this world? Okay, think about this and let me know the answer in the comments. Done? Okay, so I read this article in 2016, which says that there are more than 10,000 programming languages in this world. That's right, more than 10,000 languages. Now, out of which, how many of them are famous? Maybe I can say 100, 200. And out of which, how many of we use in the industry? Maybe 30, 40. And how many of the programming languages you know? Probably one and two. In fact, for me, it's my passion to explore new languages, uh, new syntax, but then I work only on three to four languages, right? Now to add a new language to that 10,000 languages, we have a new one, which is called Mojo. And it's not new, right? Because in the industry, if you see, every few months, you will see a new programming languages coming up. In fact, if you just see the last 10 years, how many languages have been introduced, there are multiple. And we have used few of them, maybe Rust, Go, Carbon, uh, Solidity, to, new, to name few. And there are other languages which just, which just came and went away without mentioning that name on the internet. Now coming back to this particular language, why it's a big, big thing. Now this language was introduced few days back, but why we're talking about this language, not the other languages? It's because this language claims that this will end Python. Okay, that's not the company says, that's what article says. Important is, what the company claims is this particular language is fast. It's very fast. It's very, very, very fast. In fact, I have to put 35,000 Vs there. It's because this language is 35,000 X faster than Python. See, first of all, when you talk about the speed of a language, it's not only the language which matters, it's also the type of code you write. To solve a particular problem, you can write multiple logic, right? And then you can also optimize it for any particular language to speed it up. But when it comes to Mojo, the code which you can write in Python, and if you can write the same code in an efficient way in Mojo language, it can give you 35,000 X speed. Now that's what they claim. Now, first of all, I cannot verify that because we don't have access to it. So they are giving you a preview version which you can see. And first of all, you have to join the waiting list. And if you get the access, you can try this out. But yeah, that's what they claim at this point. Now question arise, if Python is that slow, why in this world we are still using Python? Why not other languages? Now see, if you talk about the language Python, it came before Java. I know a lot of people know Java and then Python just came into market by saying, okay, I'm the king here. It's not just Python's a new language. Python came in 1989 and Java came in 95. But then Java got the boost, Python not. But then something happened after a few years. The world of AI emerged. Now, the moment you talk about AI, and if you think about people who work in this industry, they are not actually computer scientists. Or they, they might become the scientists, but they are not developers. Right? Now, these people, they work on AI models, they create models, they solve a particular problem. And everything happens on a paper or on the, on the word, right? So they, they solve a problem, not in the actual programming context. And now they want to convert this solution into a programming world. Now at this point, if we talk about this mathematicians or scientists, they have to learn a programming language. And of course they will not dare to start with Java. It's not like they can't learn it. They just don't want to waste their time learning a complex language to solve those problems. And at this point, they looked for some simple solution. And that was Python. Because Python was built to be easy, to be simple, and to reduce the time to develop something. Okay, that's right. Python helps you to write software faster, but it doesn't run faster. I know, that's tricky there. The thing is, Python got famous because it was simple. And that's why, you, if you see, there are a lot of libraries which was built in Python because initially that's how it started. Now, since it was easy, they started using Python, they built some library, and now if you want to get into AI world, you have to learn Python if you, even if you know other languages. It's because the libraries are built using Python, and Python has a huge ecosystem. Now, it doesn't matter you are working with AI, mobile development, web development, or gaming, Python has libraries for everything. Right? And that's why Python is so famous. It, it's not famous because it, it, it was fast. It's, it's actually slow. But then it provides you all the libraries, the ecosystem, and it is simple. Then why we are moving to Mojo? It's because Mojo is a superset of Python. So what if you can just take all the good things of Python and add speed to it? 
that's what Mojo is all about. It's a superset basically. It, it can do everything which a Python language can do. And if you look at the syntax, it's not like you have to learn a new language. If you know Python, you by default know Mojo with some extra things. Now after talking about all these things, let's head to the website of Mojo and let's see what this says. Now coming back to a language like Mojo, now Mojo is not built by a freelancer sitting at home and then thought, okay, let me get a new language which will be effective fast. Mojo is actually created by a company who works a lot in AI field. Okay, so they create some engines, they uh, provide the infrastructure for AI and they created Mojo coming that in mind. Okay, now Mojo is a new programming language for all AI developers. Now this is how they are starting, but I think the main focus is also make Mojo the uh, general purpose programming language so that you can use it everywhere. The, the moment you say speed, everyone wants speed. So basically what Mojo says is, Mojo combines the usability of Python because it is simple and it has a big ecosystem, plus it will give you the performance of C. So the speed of C, in fact, it says it is faster than C++. And that sounds weird, I know, but uh, we really need to test it out once the uh, official release comes into picture. And now let's look at the syntax here. Now if you look at the syntax for Mojo, and you will say, okay, that's Python. That's right, that's Python and that's also Mojo. And you can actually give an extension that's actually cool. At the same time, that's tricky. If you see the extension here, you can use that lit. Is it lit? Yeah, so that's lit icon. And so this is a Python syntax and this is a Mojo syntax. It's so similar. But yes, it also adds, now the moment you say it's a superset, it means you can also add some extra things. So Mojo has introduced struct, which was not then Python. So again, you can take some things from C language, right? And it will make it much better. Now what I'm fascinated about Mojo is the speed, right? So if you go down, they also talk about speed here. In fact, they took some new features from the modern language as well. Example from Rust, they took a borrower checker, uh, which will make sure that you have memory safety. So basically you can also play with Mojo. So they provide you a playground. The only thing is you need to apply for it. So when you go to this particular page, you will, they will ask you to sign up and then you have to wait in the waiting list like the way I am waiting. Now this is interesting about the speed because in Python, it's difficult to achieve parallel computing, right? Or parallel processing. But when it comes to Mojo, so Mojo leverages MLIR, which is multi-level intermediate representation. So basically when you write high level languages, you convert your code into a intermediate code, right? In fact, in, fact, uh, in multiple languages you do that. So it also leverages that particular part and it takes advantage of vector threads and AI hardware unit. Basically, the hardware from different companies, from different uh, type, it can also take use of that. You don't have to change your code based on the hardware, right? Okay, so in Python, if you use a single thread execution, that's how it works, but in Mojo, you can use parallel processing with the multiple, co multiple cores. Now you might be thinking, okay, uh, if I use multiple cores, then I have to configure everything for different type of architecture. Not exactly. So Mojo provides you something called auto-tuning. Okay, I'm not talking about auto-tuning in singing, which a lot of people use. I'm talking about the auto-tune in the programming world. So basically based on the system, you can provide the auto-tuning. So based on the performance, based on the system configuration, you can auto-tune how much cores you want to use, how much RAM you want to use. And now the most important thing, which is the speed. So Mojo says, if you compare the speed here, so let's say for a particular problem, which is this particular problem here, this algorithm, it takes this number of seconds for Python, which is almost thousand seconds or more than thousand seconds. But if you try PyPy, you can see 46 seconds. And if you try Scalar C++, big fan of C++, you will get 0.2 seconds. And look at the Mojo now. It's 0.03 seconds. In fact, to understand this better, uh, I will put a video link in the description. So the modular, they had this keynote and the presentation on how fast it is. So I will put that link in the description and check, check that out. So that's the speed I'm talking about. And also it can use the entire Python ecosystem. So it doesn't matter which library you're using, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, everything is supported here. So try this out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm excited for the new language because I love new languages and uh, I just want to know your thoughts on it. And the moment I get the preview version of it, I will try to make a simple videos just to make you understand how to code in Mojo and how similar it is to Python. Okay, now the question for the Python developers, should we switch to Mojo or should we wait for Mojo to launch before even learning Python? 
The thing is, see, every new language takes time because when the language introduces, it takes some time for the build to build the ecosystem. I know we have the Python ecosystem, but still it will take some time for Mojo to be used in the upcoming projects. So now we have Python. So learn Python. It's one of the best language till now. And for the general purpose thing, not for AI, Python is slow, but not that slow that you cannot use it. Okay. Uh, so there's still a lot of projects which are still happening in Python. And I hope you know where to learn Python. You will find the link in description. So thank you so much everyone. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.